Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you a CCTV camera by Gent Blot. I didn't buy this, Amazon sent it to me for free as a series of tests for CCTV camera. I'm on the Vine program so I get to um, choose different three products to test. And this is directly from Amazon so I have no link with the manufacturer and I can say whatever I want, good, bad, you guys can decide how good or how bad the camera is as per usual of my videos. But I just want to state that I did buy this camera. I started recently printing, um, 3D printing. And the print taking longer and longer because the, the project is getting more complex. And I can't be here personally to monitor it. If anything goes wrong within a 24 hour print, I need to be able to intervene. Now it's winter, it's quite cold. I, I'm too lazy to walk in. Uh, through the garden just to check on the print. So it would be nice to have something like this mounted on my um, bench. Uh, I can see my printer through my phone. So no matter where I am, even if I can't attend, I can like message my wife who is working from home at the moment. She can come and attend to the printer, maybe press a stop button or something. So this will be very useful for me right here. This particular model, Genbot, uh, you can buy this for less than, I think, £40 now. So I think technology comes to a point that they make this really, really cheaply. But not all are made equally. So hopefully I can show you what this camera can do. There's not much to unbox. I'm not going to open the box in front of you guys. Basically, this is all you get from um, the box itself. So you've got your camera right here. So obviously you can tilt and turn. Um, obviously I use it to monitor my printer. You might want to use it to monitor an elderly at home. Just make sure they're okay. You want to monitor your baby while you're in the kitchen cooking something. But, you know, obviously there's many use for this. I am so happy to see that, you know, a long cable comes with the actual machine itself. I mean, they're really cheaply to buy. But, you know, having a long cable allows you to, like, power it more flexibly. I mean, time after time, I think I have tested about 10 or even 20 CCTV camera now. And some of the cable is really short. It's just useless. You just go in the power of uh, cables that I never use. And uh, you need to end up buying a two or three meters cable. But this is more than capable for reaching where it needs to go. It's USB power. So all you need is one of these um, USB charger thing. If you have a multi-charger already uh, at home for your phone, you can actually plug that in. And if you really want to, you can actually use a power bank, but I'm not sure how long that will last. Even your biggest power bank, it probably only lasts maybe a day or so. If you want to record something con convertly, if you want to hide the camera and record just for a few hours, you can actually use a power bank. But the good thing about this camera is because it can tilt and turn, um, you can actually put it anywhere and you can just ask the camera to point at a certain direction. This one can actually track and move the camera for you, which is quite a handy feature if you have a large area that you need to monitor. The camera angle on this one is 100 degree. Just imagine your action camera is about 120 and your normal camera is about like uh, less than 90. So this is in between. So it's not too wide that it distorts everything, but it's not too narrow that you can miss out something on the picture. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And next step, let's set it up and show you guys what this can do. I met with a few problems. I still haven't got it set up yet. So I got the camera powered up at the moment by the power bank. And I was happy too early on. So there must be the noise every few seconds. So I'm a bit too happy about this cable, but it actually doesn't work. It doesn't power up the camera. So I have to use my own cable right here. And now the camera is powered up. And the second thing is uh, I download the software and it doesn't allow me to connect to the camera wirelessly. Um, I think it's because of the design fault. So basically I come to the options where uh, wireless installation and my SSID to the Wi-Fi network name is actually uh, Benson space studio space 5 gigahertz. It's not 5 gigahertz, this is 2.4, but I'm too lazy to change the name. But because of the spacing, the software wouldn't allow me to edit. So my only option is... So my only option is use the wire cable. All the other cameras I've tested so far, we can connect it wirelessly as long as it's 2.4 gigahertz, but this one doesn't work. With the Ethernet cable plugged in, it's quite straightforward. You scan the barcode 
a QR code on the side of the camera. It will input the data onto the app and you just press the um, find camera from LAN and then give it a few minutes and it will automatically set up your camera for you. And once you set up, you will be able to use it straight away. So obviously um, this is right here and we have image on the phone so the image going to the internet and then the internet coming back to the phone and this is how it works and to turn the camera angle all you need to do is just swipe on the screen and it will oh, my face look out of the frame so yeah to to change the camera angle all you need to do is just flip on the screen so you want to see more of the back you do that and you can always like you know turn it the other way so this is up and down as well so this is just like the basic function of it. I'm going to play around with it and set up the recording, AI uh, tracking, and I'm going to mount it properly on a place where you're going to see most of this room. And this is the part where most of you who watch my video will ask, where does the SD card go? The SD card actually go into the belly of the camera. You have to make sure the camera points all the way upward to show you the slot. And uh, here is where the reset button is as well. Most of the camera will have the camera card slot at the same place. So if you can't find yours and you haven't read the instruction, that's where it's supposed to be. So this is my little trick to anyone who needs to set up a CCTV camera, especially the one that you can power with a USB, is to use a power bank. So now I can try out different position for this particular camera and I can have a real-time viewing on my phone. So I can move it around in the house looking at the phone to make sure I got the right kind of um, angle. Without, without this, if you are limited to a wire, every time you want to move beyond where you want to move to, then you have to unplug and then plug it back in and then you have to wait for the camera to reboot. So having a power bank is a great way to um, move about with your camera. All you need to do is once you set up, once you mount it, then you just plug it into a permanent source of power, then you can get rid of the power bank. So I've got the camera set up right on top over there. So that's the best spot in the middle of the room. It can see everything, providing the camera can actually rotate. Now motion detection is on at the moment. So um, as I move, the camera will change angle as well. So to an extent, I think it works. And um, I yet to see how good the night vision is, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be bright because there is six infrared LED red dots. Alexa, turn on everything. Okay. So as long as the light switch on now is bright enough, the infrared uh, so I should be in color. Now I want the CT3 camera to be able to see my uh, 3D printer. That's the whole point of me setting up the camera right there. But yet, also this type of camera is very good for that because it can turn its head. Now if I like a move over. That spot where the tight camera will turn, but it will lose me, it will lose track of me, and then you just go crazy. So I think it's around here. For some reason, the camera doesn't really like this part of the room. And the source floor is now in recording. It's not having any problems. I guess which is a good thing. So thank you very much for watching my video. And if you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.